a David Bogan PA amplifier. This is an extremely high power tube type amplifier, model HO125. In this amp, I have installed a series light bulb as a surge suppression circuit. And the way it would work is that when you first plug the unit in, the high voltage transformer will be connected in series through the light bulb. Then a time delay relay would activate after about 15 seconds, shorting out the bulb. And that helped absorb any surges that were occurring when the power would turn on. Because for some reason I was getting arcing in the 5R4 tube at turn on. And the problem is now though that the lamp was staying on constantly indicating the presence of a continuous overload. So I got the HV transformer out of the chassis and I put it on another series lamp and I checked it here and it looks like it's okay or not indicating any shorts. This transformer produces about 2000 volts AC. This is like working on a radio transmitter. Very dangerous if, if you're not uh, careful with what you're doing. So have to take extreme caution on working on things like this. But uh, I'm, I measured the low volt. This also has a low voltage bias winding, and I measured about 300 volts on that. It provides the bias voltage and also the low voltage supply for the other tubes. So I'm going to test it out here. I've got it hooked up with a short check lamp here. And we'll plug it in. About 327 volts. Now this is across the center tap. It really has uh, 600 volts total on that winding. One thing I see here though is some carbonized uh, stuff. If you look here, see some carbon tracking on there. It may not be till the device is put under load that the problems appear but at least without a load it doesn't look like we're getting any shorts. Now I've got another transformer in here that may be suspect. We'll just have to check it out too. But this is a good sign because this transformer I think would just be about impossible to replace. Here's the top of the Bogan amp. It uses two 807's and the 807's have about 800 volts on the plates. It really pushes the 807's hard. It probably should be using higher power transmitter type tubes for this kind of service. Because that's asking a lot of these 807's to supply 125 watts all by themselves. And the owner of this had uh, fitted in a Hammond transformer so that you could hook it up to 8 ohm speakers. Originally this would have been used like at a drive-in theater or amusement park and would have been used with 70 or 110 volt lines only, which would go to matching transformers at the speakers. It didn't have provision hooked up directly to 8 ohm speakers. So now that at least I think this is not shorted, it may have to go on the search for carbon tracking in a socket or some other problem that's causing the apparent short in the circuit.